Here we are at the Congregational Church on May 9th, 1997. And as you can see, there are many things going on here at the church. One of the biggest projects right now is the tuck pointing of the church. And as you can see, they're already starting to work on the west side, which we'll go take a closer look at later. Today, we're here to take a look at the Nichols Memorial Chimes, which have just been recently refurbished by Mr. John Harbour. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the chimes, how they sound, how they play, and we're going to take a good look at their location, for they are in kind of a, a strange place, I guess you could say. And there goes Cassie Horn's mom. What a friendly place Jacksonville is. So here we will see, up here in this tower today, where the chimes are located. We'll take a closer look as we hike up the tower to take a look at these wonderful, glorious chimes dedicated originally in 1927. As we take a closer look, it's Sue Ferguson. We can't see you. Stick your hand out. I can't hear. I can't hear either. I can't, I can't, I mean, there's nothing to take a picture of. Yeah. And while we are here outside kind of looking at the tower, we are introduced <laughs> to the pastor of the Congregational <laughs> Church, Meg Shepherd. Who is very worried about the chair of the music committee who has <laughs> gone to see St. Peter. <laughs> And here we are back inside the church. This is the sanctuary here with their beautiful Moeller 1955 organ. And as you can see, this sanctuary has quite a bit of history. Now, to take a closer look at where the chimes are played, we're going to walk up to where the organ console is located at. As you can see, they have some beautiful woodwork in the top here, huge shutters. And here we come to the organ. And this is the organ here. It even has some music on it. <laughs> and these are the chimes. This is where the chimes are played from these small little console off to the side of the organ for the organist or piano player or whoever has some keyboard skills can play the, the uh, chimes over here. And as you can see, it has some um, Interesting little things on the uh, black here. Important, play only one tone at a time. Release each key before pressing the next. Hold each key down at least a full half second. J.C. Deegan Incorporated, Chicago, USA. And, of course, here's a book, Deegan Chimes, Ch Tower Chimes Music. And here's a doxology, even. <laughs> and it has quite a few patents, the most recent being... August 10th, 1926, and the uh, earliest um, being, let's see if this will focus here, August 8th, 1889. So you can see there's quite a bit of history in these chimes. And now, let's take an even closer look by going into the tower. Our tower. May keeping a steadfast watch on those already up there. And here we go. I'll turn it back on yes. <laughs> once I get up the ladder. <laughs> and here we are in the tower. You can see there's quite a long journey up there. The walls have all been cemented over. Looks like they need a little tuck pointing in here, perhaps. <laughs> As you can see, we're on the first level here. And as spoken about in other articles, I'm afraid this floor is going to break. Actually, I hope not. As you can see, okay, it's been written about. It has its own uh, generator here, and this is all 1927 paraphernalia, as you can very well see. And here we have a, a small switch and some things that... Um, show that these chimes can be played, goodness, <laughs> individually, um, one at a time, 
And as I make my way over here slowly, you can see if you hit these, there's 10 buttons for, for 10 chimes. And as you can see on the power supply, it uh, shows all the volts and everything, in the generator. John, John says that those are remote switches. Yes. To play the tone. Okay, remote switches. That you could act as a current will turn on, you could play them with those things. Hmm. That's kind of neat. He made that, he fixed that up so that he didn't have to run to the console. Oh, okay. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. Okay, and as we hear the Fergusons, or I mean the Sioux, yakking away, we will make our journey to the top. Slowly and surely, up we go. <laughs> and we start, and here we go. Rolling along. Gosh, I hope I don't run into it. On my way. Oop. There's lots of gross things everywhere. I'll tell you that. I'm trying to be very careful because I'm a cautious person. And as you can see here, these wonderful windows. There's still a lot to go. Quite a view. We're already quite, quite high up. And we continue our journey up higher and higher and higher. And I'm sorry I can't think of any better narration for this video, but <laughs> just not that creative. And here we are, and we can see some remnants of a bird, perhaps. <laughs> and look, we ran into Stu Whitney. <laughs> we do have friends in high places. So. <laughs> So what do you think of the, let's do an impromptu interview here. Oh, well. What did you think? It's, you're, it's very impressive and you're really high up up there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a windy day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Is this quite, is this, is this your first time in the tower? Yes. Is this it impressive? Is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm really impressed with anyone who could come up and work on these and install them. And oh, yeah. I'm sure they probably put them in with a crane or something once upon a time. It looks like there were some little windows or something maybe yeah. that they blocked out. Yeah. Huh. Well, I read in the church's history that when they dedicated these chimes that the church was overflowing and there were people all outside hmm. listening to them. It's huh. crowded. Oh, that's really neat. Well, and okay, Sue's up there. we will continue our journey. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> okay, let's not look down there, Homer. <laughs> Moving along. Oh, at least there's a railing. See, this makes me feel good. I think you're doing really well to do that with one <laughs> hand on a camera. <laughs> oh, sure. Ooh, now we're getting up to the catwalks here. Woo! Just hope this wood is not rotting. Oh, my. Keep climbing, Homer. I'm coming, dear. <laughs> don't step on that bag. It's full of dead Oh, <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were going to tell me, don't step on that board. <laughs> no, don't it's going to break. That bag. It's full of dead birds. <laughs> and here we have run into <laughs> Sue Ferguson, the head yes. of the music committee. <laughs> and she just looks happy up here, <laughs> watching the world go by. I can report that there are no bats in the belfry. Oh, well, that's good. At least none that I can see. <laughs> However, we do have dead birds. Everywhere? Uh, no, just mainly on the first level. Oh, in that's all good. stages of desiccation. <laughs> and it's a windy day, and, and the chimes are moving. They're moving? They're moving, yes. Oh, wow. They, yeah. they oh. look like uh, big water pipes. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's take a closer look here. As you can see, this is very, uh, look how heavy this and thick this wood here and all this support. Oh, yeah. Look at how much, how much support is here, I would suppose, for these chimes and things. I'm sure, I'm sure it has something to do with it. Yeah, oh, sure, sure. 
but really quite an impressive piece of Jacksonville architecture, especially knowing that it was built in 1859, something like that. Here we are. Oh, it is rather windy up here. Yes, it is. Goodness. And there they are, in all their glory. How about that? They're really rather something. They're kind of... It wasn't... Ex I know. What were you expecting? I was expecting... Um, you have to... yeah, I'm just kind of getting this corner here. Huh. Wow. I was expecting something a little different, like... Uh, I don't know, bigger, I guess. <laughs> I don't well, know, they but kind of look like big water pipes hanging up here. Yeah. Maneuverability. No. Here we are, kind of in the middle of the chimes here. And as you can see, he's done a little, there's some new woodwork here that he's replaced with. But as you can see, they're all kind of suspending by rope. And it's like uh, metal cables, don't you think? Uh, probably. It's, it's something I think like it that. It must be metal cable. Let's see. Surely not just ropes. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, some heavy metal cable. <laughs> heavy metal, right. Heavy We're metal cable. Heavy metal here. And you can see that these chimes are. There are 10 of them. Are, they've got these dampeners here at the bottom, which is what I'm guessing these, I'm watching my step here, which is what I'm guessing these here at the bottom are. So, as you can see, they're kind of swinging back and forth. If I can get a good picture. So you want to hold these? No, yeah. <laughs> and um, these uh, dampeners here, so when one chime is played, this will stop the ringing here. Um, when the next chime starts playing, so this doesn't sound like a mishmash of things. Um, but as you can tell, they can go, go up and around. Really rather fascinating. <laughs> yes, I believe that's low F over there. <laughs> this is low F. And as you can see up here, as, as Mr. Harbor was explaining to me uh, a while back, these kind of rusted looking things here, those are actually the hammers that strike the times with an incredible amount of force from what I understand. And if the generator were to be on, which is a big, big no-no, when you're up here, uh, you would actually see a ball of fire, more or less, kind of uh, happen here. It's all very safe. <laughs> yeah, you can actually see at the top of each of the chimes yeah. the point where the hammer hits. You see? Yeah. So it's this color. It's rather very fast. See if I can get up here. There you go. There's a good view of it. Hmm. And we'll kind of work ourselves around here a little bit to this other side. Carefully, slowly. <laughs> Holding on for dear life. <laughs> yes. And as we can see, it's rather windy today, and we have more of the same over here. There's there's four chimes on this side as compared to the uh, six over on the other side um, and as you can see there's quite a bit of support uh, beams and things holding these chimes way up here and uh, you can even see through here if we take a closer look kind of back away the uh, top of the sanctuary here <laughs> here's the uh, roof of the sanctuary uh, and it's detailed work and here's the East, uh, I guess it would be Southeast Tower over there, top of that. Um, Jacksonville, just driving people, citizens of Jacksonville driving along. 
You really kind of feel like the hunchback of the right. congregational right. church. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> a little bit, kind of sitting up here. Okay, here we are, <laughs> up in the top of the tower here. And this looks like the tuning rod that could actually tune these chimes or do some sort of adjustment. Uh, but these are um, the actual mini motors that strike the chime. Uh, these little deals say on them. J.C. Deegan Incorporated, patented September 19th, 1917, 18, or August 7th, 1928, or 1923, and November, hmm, I think that's an 8, 1923. Um, other patents pending, Chicago, USA. And as you can see, we can even look down the top, down into these tubular chimes here. At least the best I can, I can't really see. Um, and you can see here even with these where they strike there's a little uh, kind of a little cross showing where they should be struck at and um, here, sorry um, you can tell that these are actually copper here I guess or brass yes that's very smoothed over compared to the kind of rusted however the rest of the, everything else is up here and um, that's the striker itself. That actually is what hits the chimes with an incredible force, I'm told. And this must be where the ball of fire comes out from. I'm not sure exactly where. But you can see here, this is the very top of the tower. There really isn't anything else up here. That's just the roof or whatnot. Ooh, it's getting really windy. Kind of scary. Um, but this is what is up here. So everybody can see. And here's a view for down there for people to see too. Next, the chairperson of the music committee must not be squeamish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. And these are a good view of all the mechanics of these chimes uh, in all their glory. Really massive, very heavy, I mean just you can feel how heavy and big these things are. I mean they may kind of look look small though they you know from where we're at. They're gonna, really they're not that big in diameter. No. They're only about what five inches in diameter, maybe four, something like that. But as far as length they're you know, they vary that way as far as their pitch, but really quite quite something. Quite a master of engineering, even for Say one last goodbye to the chime. <laughs> I know I'm being very over thorough, but you know, you never can tell what'll turn out and what won't. Oh, I don't expect we'll be back up here. Hmm. John Harbor sings. Uh, okay, now you want me to help you move this? Well, I don't know as you can. Yeah. And that's the hat you go through up on top. It's worth coming down, smelling the birds. <laughs> it's, it's just quite colorful. Sunset Gold Ginger Ale. Oh! Is it full? What's in there? It's stuffed in here. I'm not sure what it is. What kind of stuff? Well, it looks... Leave it alone and make the red all put it there. No. No, this no. looks very old. <laughs> this is Sunset Gold Ginger Ale. Well, I gotta get my glasses out. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> it has liquid of unknown origin in it. Oh, it says, uh, packed for Piggly Wiggly stores. <laughs> Georgia. I don't see a date. 
It is vile. I'm not going to try to bring it down because if I spill it, whatever. I don't want to think about it. I don't either. Okay, well, you want me to, I'll go down first here, I guess. You want me to hold my Woo! Now that we have seen the chimes, learned a little bit about the history of the chimes, and even heard the chimes, we'll wrap up this short little program regarding the chimes at the Congregational Church built in 1927 by the J.C. Deegan Company. Indeed, those chimes have, long quite a, have led quite a long and interesting life up there in the tower. They've seen a lot of history. And if they could talk, I'm sure they could tell us quite a few things. And in 70 years, in another 70 years, that is, if the chimes are still around, perhaps they will be rededicated once again. For this is the 70th anniversary of the installation of the tower chimes at the Congregational Church. And these chimes will be rededicated in the memory of not only Ann Nichols, but of Ralph Heiss. And as the congregation continues to change and to grow, they'll come upon new challenges, not only from the tower chimes, but of such large projects as the tuck pointing of the church, which is now taking place here on the 1920 um, edition.
and other projects such as the organ will come into play and heating. So the congregation needs to be strong and firm as they grow and change together and truly go into the next century.